Good morning everybody and welcome back to Visit Vale Coast and what an absolutely glorious day it is. Look at the sun lifting the moisture out of these boards here. They're steaming. Today we're going fishing. We're going to go and see what we can find out and what we can see about the new proposed um, Project Neptune at Fleetwood Dock. And it's Tuesday the 12th of January today. That's that's the main road into Fleetwood that you can see there with all the traffic. And I'm just going to orientate you before we go any further. We've chosen this video today because obviously we're in lockdown from coronavirus. And this is our, this is our livelihood. It's not a hobby. This is our job, our, our full-time job. So it's the only time I shall have been out this for about a week. And it's something I can't really do sat inside. So all my other jobs have been done inside. So if anybody's wondering, number one, I've picked possibly the quietest place for people that I could. And number two, um, I shall be keeping away from everybody and keeping to the spirit of the restrictions. So I'm starting here to show you the view over the... The, the dock area because obviously it's a it's a, a private working space and it's not somewhere that I can actually go at the moment but I'm, I'm hoping to remedy that I'm hoping that we might get permission from ABP now you'll like this I've got a bit of a bit of a homemade map to show you so this this sort of orientates you to where we are are you ready what about that then for a map? So the thick browny black line is the main road where you can hear the, the traffic trundling up and down. The two pink areas in the middle of the shot is this piece of land here and a piece of land that goes round the back of round the back of the dock because you can see there's a fishing boat there. And that is that dock area in the centre, uh, to, to the right hand side of the right hand piece of pink. The pink is the development land. So we'll come back to this map in a minute and I'll, I'll show, you, show you in more detail. So currently we're at the side of the Three Lights pub, which I just showed you as this, as this video began. The wind turbine that you can see is at the United Utilities site at the Sewage Works, which is near Fleetwood Marsh. And this is why I brought a map, because it's a little bit of a confusing spot, this. And if you follow that road there, that takes you to the new harbour... Now then, what's it called? Harbour site? Harbour lights? It's the housing estate that you can see from Affinity. So this is the entrance to the Port of Fleetwood. And as you can see, there's a security cabin on it. And it's not somewhere that we are able to go. So these sheds that you can see in front of you, these here, these are the old fish processing sheds where people process fish. So we're going to turn round and we're going to walk back along the main road where you'll be able to see more clearly exactly what, well, exactly what's going to be done, exactly which bit of land it's going to be done on. And we'll, we'll, we'll see what we can see for, for this stage. So this is my early morning exercise on a beautiful January day in the, the quietest but not lonely place I could think of. <laughs> <laughs> that I needed to do in order of priorities. I'm going to just put my map back in my pocket and then I don't drop it. You might have noticed I got it, I got it folded ready to pocket size. So Project Neptune is new commercial space and improvements to the structure of the dock. And if you're, you're local and familiar with this area, you'll know that a new fish park, as it's commonly known, has been discussed many, many times. Fish Park, just for shorthand, because it's easy, 
it's easy to say obviously it's not somewhere where fish park um and just one other thing i needed to, to, to just say to you before we go any further this road is herring arm road and i just think that that is the oddest name for a road <laughs> So, the fish park's been going on for many, many years. Because currently, the, the fish processing people work on, in some of the sheds on this dock where we've just been. And a lot of them are based down on Sidings Road, which is, it's down here, parallel to a mountainous way. That will become a bit clearer in a minute. And the, the premises that they occupy are very cramped there's no room for expansion they're, they're outdated so they're, they're going to struggle to um, improve them and build new or whatever so in order to safeguard those 65 jobs and allow for the continued operation of the fish park this has been this has been on ongoing for a, a long time. So on the second of December, twenty twenty, just before Christmas, the cabinet at Wire Council approved the project and approved um, that it would go ahead. And it's also got four million pounds worth of funding, grant funding, from the Getting Building Fund from the British government and that's part of a 900 million pound funding pot that the government have handed out to the wasted areas from coronavirus and that's the same fund that's paying for the Hounsill extension, Abingdon Street Market, um, the filed M55 link road and someone is going towards Hill House Enterprise Zone as well. Now I've stopped here because this is one of the plots of land. Get me map back out. Let's unfold it. Have another look at the map. So this is where we are now. So you can see we've, we've just walked round that little roundabout at the right hand side. And the bottom blob of pink that looks a little bit like a dog is this piece of land here. And that's where the um, new buildings are going to go. So not only will it improve the working conditions for the people that are working in the, the businesses, it will also improve the look of the access road into Fleetwood because as you'll have gathered by all the cars that are passing us, this is a really busy road and it's a main gateway into, into Fleetwood itself. Now, we, when we come to, to Fleetwood and to Affinity, we usually come this way. <laughs> and then we go back home, what we call the scenic way. So we go back round the, the seafront and the, and the beach and the esplanade. So you, all, you do a loop around the outside of, of the peninsula of land. So this is going to be built on the land between the ice house which is this one that we're coming up to and the three lights pub which is the one that we've just passed this ice packaged ice company limited fascinates me when you when you walk down here you can see the ice um the, the overspill that i don't think there is any today but there's usually a pile of ice in the car park where it's where it's um, tipped out. It's really interesting. Um, and the groundworks, all being well, fingers crossed, touch wood and all that, should begin in spring this year. And as I said, this development will safeguard 65 jobs. So what is it going to include? Well, the new buildings which are going on this piece of land here this one are going to include commercial units for fish processing demolition of some outdated buildings uh, um, 
new fish processing buildings, car parks, servicing and waste provision. So you can see there's a little road runs round the back there and that's Dock Avenue which is parallel behind those buildings to a mountainous way which is where we are now. And there's another application as well. Well I'll show you this on the map when we get a bit further down. For the land adjacent to Fleetwood Dock to remove a suspended key and create a natural revetment and there'll be some existing warehouses demolished and it will also enable some car parking space to be created. This stainless steel short thing here that comes out of the side of this building at the end of there on the floor there's usually a big pile of ice. <laughs> love to look around there. When you think that back in the day that they used to uh, import ice from frozen countries, no such thing as, no such thing as um, making it back then. So these big buildings are part of the, the dock complex as well. And as I said, it's all private access. So exactly what's in there and what, what, what they do and all the rest of it is... <coughs> well, I don't know. Is the simple answer to that. Um, but of course, the next building that we're coming to is Affinity. As was called the Freeport, and this is also built on some of the old dot land. And obviously, this is closed at the moment because of lockdown. And I'm just going to turn around in a minute and show you Cops Road. Not Cops Road, Sidings Road. Cops Road is the main road at our left. Right, so that's affinity so straight in front of us is asda there you are. do you like me adapted gloves um and at the back of the trees down here is sidings road so this is where some of the fish processing people are working currently you can see from the mishmash of buildings and the age of them I mean that's not a new one on the end that they're that they're all old buildings and they're accessed just off this little roundabout here you just turn left and left again and that takes you on to on to Sidings Road I just walk up to the we'll walk up to the pretty grass and then I'll show you this so we are now we are now at the edge of the car park at Affinity. So the, the blob at the top, we're at the bottom, bottom corner of the car park. And you can see that there is dock at the side of Affinity. You can see, you can just see some of it in the, in the gap there. So that dock that's on that map is the one that you stand at the side of when you're in the, the shopping centre and you stood on the on the dock side and the blue area underneath the pointed pink development space is the, the dock where the fishing boats berth and Cops Road as you can see on the left is the one that runs parallel to a mountainous way which is that one that you can just see through the trees and the reason I brought them out with me is that Fleetwood's quite a complicated shape I, I can't I can't point at the map because I've got I've got my camera in my other hand <laughs> um, Fleetwood's quite a complicated shape and it's not easy to see how things can to relate to one another so I thought I thought I'll bring a map and then we'll do our best. So 
so I hope you've enjoyed this little noisy look round with a lot of traffic. Um, we did our best. We'll see if we can manage to get some access into the ABP land at some time when all this coronavirus crisis has wiggled its way to a conclusion. And don't forget, if you've enjoyed this video, give it a, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And don't forget to make sure that you've subscribed to the Visit File Course YouTube channel. And hit that little bell for notifications. So you'll stay safe, have a lovely day, and we will see you soon. Bye for now.